The DV5 framework, Sidecrafter Pro, has been updated and it is huge. The way you use color is now completely different and I would like to show you how to apply this in your web design workflow. So let's take a look at this basic website. So as you can see here, we have this color right here. This is a light version of our primary color. Now this is our secondary color or accent color. Now you scroll down here, you can see as well that this is our primary color, but these are different shades. And then over here, this is our secondary color or our accent color. Finally, over here, we just have our grayscales. So as you can see, this is a basic layout using just three colors and using shades of these three colors. So that is how Sidecrafter Pro is going to work. So let me show you how to apply this. So first of all, let's choose our two colors because I need to show you how the HSL color system now works because before we used to have the hex way of choosing our colors, hexadecimal. All right, so over here, we're going to uh, choose our colors. I'm just gonna randomly go through this until I find a color that is totally different to what we're using right now. So I'm gonna go with this color right here. So first of all, I'm gonna lock it and then we, need, we also need to choose our secondary color. So I'm gonna keep on going here until I find a color that I think can work really well as our secondary color. Okay, so I think um, we're gonna go with, okay, let's go with this one here. All right, so these are two colors. So now we need to copy our hexadecimal. Now remember, before we used to choose this color right here because this was the hexadecimal. Now we need to click on this little drop down and choose HSL. Okay, like that. So there's only two numbers that we need from here. We need this hue and the saturation. So we have our three, five, two, and 41. So now when you go to Sidecrafter Pro, you need to go to the actual code. Now with me, uh, for this example, I'm using Fluent Snippets, so I can just access my code easily. So let's just take a look at the numbers again. We say 352 and 41. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. So this is where we need to change our color, 352. So we're gonna go 352 and 41, like that. Great. So now that we have those two colors, that's our primary color, okay? Next, we need to add our accent colors. So for that, we're gonna come back over here. We're gonna, again, we're gonna click here and then we're gonna say 5479, okay? 5479. So we're gonna come over here, change this to 54, like that, and 79. In fact, you know what? We can just add 80. There's no harm in that. Great. So that's it. I've literally set my colors in side Crafter Pro. So if you're a designer and you're designing uh, colors for your clients, this is what you need to do. Those two colors and pretty much you're done. Okay, so once you've done that, you save it and update it. And now when we come over here to our site, I want you to notice what happens. Now, this is happening in real time. I'm now going to refresh this. And now we can see that something has changed. Our, our color here has changed. This is our accent color and this is a shade of our background color for our primary color and when I scroll down here notice what happens this has changed completely across the whole website and then finally over here you can see this is our main accent color and then we come over here this is our grayscale now with the grayscale it just stays as it is it doesn't need to change so okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a brand new section and then I'm going to show you how these colors are working I'm going to come over here like that go to regular and I'm just gonna go with three columns. And in each column, I'm gonna add a text module like that. And let's just duplicate this a few times like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is just to uh, start applying our colors so you can see how this color actually works. So let's start off with this section, okay? So we're gonna come over here. Now, all you need to do is to memorize a few uh, CSS uh, classes. So we're going to come over here. The very first one is your BG. So it's either going to be BG primary or BG accent or BG gray. Okay. Just those BG accent, BG primary, BG gray. So let's start off with gray. So the really cool thing about this system that we're using here is your actual color is going to be 500. So for example, if we say BG dash P 
PRI for primary, and then we say 500. This is now your fully set up uh, color, which is this one right here this one right here. So that is going to be the value of 500. Now you see where things get very exciting. The higher you go, the darker the color becomes. So here we have 500. So if we say 600, it's got darker, 700. You see that? 800, 900. You see that? Now we can also go very light. So we can go 100, 200, 300, 400 and then finally 500 is our main color so as you can see it is very very easy to add all our shades so this was the primary now let's go ahead and add bg accent so we're going to come back and say accent so the accent here is going to be 500 as the default okay so this is your fully selected color the bg accent 500 you always have to remember that so the 500 now just like before if we add 600 it's going to go darker and darker and darker so we're going to go 600 and then we're going to say 700 800 900 okay so we can also go the opposite direction from the 500 going the other way around so we can say 400 300 200 100 okay so it's as simple as that now let's say we want to add our background Basically, our background is BG gray, like that. And then, again, we can start with, nine, with 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Okay? And then the next colors that you need to memorize are the text primary. So we have our background primary, and then text primary, and then text primary accent and then text gray all right so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to come over here and we're just going to reduce this a little bit because it's too much text so what we're going to do now is going to come over here to advanced and then we're going to say text pri for primary and guess what if we want the primary color it's 500 just like that and let's just make a heading okay so at least we can see how big the text is so let's get rid of let's get rid of this okay so we're gonna come over here and there we go all right so this now becomes our text primary color so if you want to play around with this we can come over here to the background and then we can say bg gray 800 we want to say primary okay how about that but of course, if we say primary 800, um, we have increased our contrast, which is fantastic. And if, of course, if you say 500, then we won't see our text. 400, that's not good. So now when it comes to adjusting your contrast, look at this. So let's say we want to use this as our background for this section. Now, when it comes to the text, we just come over here and then increase the contrast. So we're gonna come over here and then say, text primary so let's go 700 look at that or even 800 our contrast is now much much better or you can even go as far as say 100 so as you can see the color system now is very 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 easy to use and apply in your design system so when we take a look at this i'm pretty sure you can guess how i was able to achieve this so i'm just going to come over here and then i'm just going to show you what i changed you can see here BG Pry 500. This is this one here. And for this one here, it is BG Pry 600. And then this one here is 700. So actually, you can change these around. So let's say you want to make this 600. You can say, okay, two steps up. Okay, 700. And then this one here needs to be 900. So do you see how consistent now your colors are without actually doing so much? Now this is much more, you know, like visually pleasing because my colors now are, you know, pretty much spaced out and it is very, very easy to, uh, to, uh, to see that. Okay. And same thing, you know, with your buttons, your backgrounds, you can just change this as you're designing your websites. And this now 
is very, very easy. Now, one more time, one more time. Let me just show you again how if we want to change the branding of the complete website, all we need to do is to come over here. Let's unlock this and let's choose. Let's change the colors. OK, so we're going to start by just going through and then choosing a color that we think is awesome. Right. So uh, midnight green. OK, let's just go with something crazy like this. We're going to go with midnight, midnight green. So I'm going to come over here. So it's 189. 65 189 65 so we're going to come over here 189 189 and then we're going to change this to 69 okay so now that has become our primary color now let's go ahead and choose our secondary color we're going to lock this and then we're just going to cycle through this until we get a color that i think is ideal should we go with this green? Yeah, why not? So let's try this one. I'm going to click over here. 121 and 32. 121 and 32. So we're going to come over here. 121 and 32. And that's all you need to do. I'm going to hit save. And pretty much we are done. So now when I refresh this, I want you to notice what happens. Boom. Right, it may not seem like a massive change, but I know we've changed the colors. Look at that color there, it's changed. That's that. If we scroll down, you see that? That is updated. This is shades of this color. And when you scroll down, look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this update is available for download if you are a lifetime uh, member or you if, if you have purchased Sidecrafter Pro this uh, update is available make sure that you clear your caches when you update to this version clear the cache and uh, just refresh uh, the website a few times just in case uh, there is something you know stored in the cache so that's what you need to do and pretty much we are now working towards the the other uh, the other update which is going to be dark mode <laughs> okay dark mode is going to come very very soon i'm actually working on that so if you find any issues with layouts and so on just refresh the page a few times clear the cache and pretty much that that should solve the problem if you haven't purchased sidecrafter pro yet go ahead and do so because this is your last opportunity of getting a lifetime membership to div university that is going to give you access to all the um, UI kits we're going to create. It's going to give you access to courses or for DV5. So when DV5 is finally out of alpha, we're going to have courses teaching you how to use DV5 as a professional designer. So this is also going to be part of the deal. It's only 40% uh, off. So go ahead and check it out. The link to that is in the uh, video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.